Alright, so uh, it's been quite some time since the last time I made a video. Kind of just been going through it like everyone else my age. Um, just kind of figuring out what to do next and like what I really want to do in general. But um, here I am. Um, it's been a couple months, almost a year actually, since my last video. Um, it's actually been almost a year since the last since I started my channel. And I've made a couple of decisions. The first one being is I'm selling my BMW. I'm just, I've kind of grown out of it. There are things that I have to do to it that I don't feel like taking care of. The other thing is I've kind of moved on with my 240. My 240 is actually already swapped. I'm gonna do a separate video as far as the swap goes. Today, it's just gonna be a simple video showing basically how to install a steering wheel on a uh, S14. And uh, you can kind of take some hints for when you're doing a steering wheel on your car. Um, it's generally the same. I've done a steering wheel on a Honda Civic, a newer Honda Civic. For the most part, it's the same. So my 240 is behind me. I'm basically just gonna install a steering wheel today. All right, so I kind of forgot a very important thing. Um, if we, anytime you're messing with anything that deals with your airbag, make sure you disconnect your battery because you don't want your airbag blowing up in your face. I don't have mine connected to anything, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, my battery, like my airbag isn't connected at all. It can still go off, but um, I should be okay. But yeah, just make sure you disconnect your airbag. This is the steering wheel I'm going to be replacing. It is the factory Nissan wheel and while a lot of people like it, I personally like it, I think it looks cool for an OEM steering wheel. I am going to upgrade it to a renowned steering wheel. Uh, hold on, my phone and uh, my phone's hooked up to it. But this is the steering wheel. Um, it is a renowned steering wheel. I went with a, the M3 style kind of stitching. I really like how the, uh, the M3 color stitching looks and it's just a really nice steering wheel. It's a little bit smaller. Actually, it's almost the same size. No, it is a little bit smaller than the uh, than the factory steering wheel. And I uh, lose my airbag, which isn't really hooked up anyways. The hub that I'm going to be using is the DND steering wheel hub. Um, these are actually new. They're made out of a billet aluminum, so they're a lot heavier than what they look like. I went with this over the NRG one just because I like the fact that it's like full billet and it just it looks solid um i just really like how it looked but this is the steering wheel hub that i'm going to be using from dnd performance i'm not a fan of logos not so much because i don't like supporting anyone but uh i just i don't know i like things looking clean and so i'm actually going to install this upside down rather than it right side up i'm going to install it this way that way when i put the steering wheel on you won't see any logos. I'm not going to be using the, the steering wheel bolts that are steering wheel screws that came with the DND kit. I'm going to be using the ones that came with the Renown steering wheel just because the ones that came with the Renown wheel are actually black and they are also fit or focus. Yeah, so there are these black screws. Um, they're a lot better than the ones that came in the DND performance kit. These fit, I already test fitted them earlier, so they do fit they're a little bit stronger as well. And then in here, I have the horn for the renowned steering wheel and it looks pretty sweet but so first things first we're gonna have to work on taking this off and to do that there are some plastic so there's there's this plastic that I have to remove and then once I remove that I have to get the steering wheel plastic off as well um, there's actually a little like slot right there for a Phillips head you stick your Phillips head in there and that pops out and in here there are some screws to take the airbag off. To do all that, this is basically the tools that you're gonna need. Um, I'm using this just because there's a security um, Torx nut that you have to take off and I'm gonna use this, the way it's hooked, you can use it to break the little security part of it and then just use a regular Torx. I'm gonna use my impact to take the big nut off of the, uh, the steering wheel to remove the steering wheel. And then I have this to remove the actual Torx nuts once I break the security part of it. Then I have this just in case I have to cut any wires. It's just a regular uh, razor blade. But and then your impact sockets to remove the the uh, the steering wheel. And then I have two torques. I can't remember exactly which one it is. I have a T50 and a T55. So that's the T50. And then I have the T55 on the drill here. There's a T55. I have some more uh, drill bits in case I need them for whatever reason. And then you're gonna need a flathead to kind of pry that little. The one piece off but just a regular flathead. head i have a 
Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, you're going to want a long one to kind of take off the uh, the plastics. that uh, There's Phillips head under it, but you do need a long one. And then lastly, this is literally the last thing you'll need is some Loctite. Um, I'm going to use a, just a tiny bit of Loctite red just so that uh, the, um, the steering wheel doesn't come loose once I put it back on. The very first thing you want to do is make sure your steering wheel is straight. Now, because of my swap and the way you kind of have to do things, my steering wheel isn't straight regardless. Um, I'm going to do it to where it's straight um, when I'm driving straight. And that's the way I'm going to reinstall it. That's about where straight is for me. That's how my car drives straight. Um, you're going to want to use the, your, your long long Phillips head. And uh, there's four bolts there, or four screws. There's one here, one here, and then one on the other. The same thing on the other side. Just go ahead and uh, loosen those up. By your keyhole, if you have a 240, there's usually like this little plastic thing that holds onto the keyhole. It's this thing. Um, you can kind of just pull that off. It's super easy to take off, but once you have that off, you pretty much just pop this thing. Once you have all the screws out, of course, but you pop this thing open. You do have to actually take this down. There's one. There's a top part. Um, mine, if you look under yours, is probably gonna be dusty, but um, I've taken this off before and I kind of cleaned it under. Pop this thing out, just like that. See how I did it with my hand? You could you could do it with a flathead, but basically there's this little slot here. Once you have that slot out, it's super easy to take out. There we go. So on the, on the right side of the steering wheel, there's a uh, little cap that goes on the uh, the cruise control you just pop that off you're going to use the phillips head to take off the cruise control it's just two screws there's your cruise control on one side that's actually where i pulled off the cruise control module there was literally just two screws holding on that are phillips screws um, that's the torque speed that i was talking about i'm pretty sure it is a t50 um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick a uh, drill bit in there and then kind of just break that little security tab there in there so that I can uh, just put in a regular T50 and then just basically snap it off. All right, I'm still working on getting the Torx bit kind of uh, worked in there. All right, so these are the security bolts. Um, I don't know if you can see, I kind of used the drill to take out the uh, the little center thing and once that little center thing was drilled out I was able to just use the regular torch bit to take this out keep them so that when you uh, want to keep your steering wheel together you can just pretty much bolt this back in you could get other ones at the store if you decide to put your old steering wheel back on but uh, you don't necessarily need them once all that that's done the steering wheel will basically the, the uh, airbag will basically slide out don't point it directly at your face you slide this out and then there's this connector back here that you'll want to unplug. Once that's popped out, it's literally just a little push tab and it comes out and that's basically it. Now from here, um, there are a couple of other connectors you're going to kind of want to undo. I'm just gonna undo all of them. Airbag connector. It's just one bolt here, and then once you have that bolt out, um, your steering wheel should just slide right out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo that and then let you guys see what it looks like. I am going to be using the bigger impact. It's just a lot stronger and it, uh, it prevents me from having to have the steering wheel locked. Um, otherwise, you would normally have to have your steering wheel locked. Um, for me, a, 13, a three quarter inch uh, socket, or three quarter socket fits just about fine. And then you just give it a couple of good duggas. And bam, just like that, came right out. That's why you get one of these. These Ugadugas are super strong and they take everything off without much effort. All right, so to get your steering wheel off, um, if your car is like mine and it's 23 years old, um, it's gonna be held on there pretty tight. Um, you kind of just have to wiggle it and then kind of pull at the same time, but be careful not to smack your face. I'm not really gonna need this anymore. I'll probably sell it if anyone wants it for like a dollar, but. There's your old one. So it's gonna be four screws, two up top, two on the bottom. I do still have to take this off, but once that's off, it's pretty simple. Yes, there's two screws under here that I never took off. And then trash. All right, now 
with the old steering wheel out and the airbag part off i am actually going to align this straight because like i said my steering wheel isn't straight not because of my alignment it's just not straight because it's just not straight so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this on to where um this is top dead center or um this this top bolt here is literally at the top so there are little grooves here that um those little grooves match up with grooves that are uh, basically inside of there you can kind of see them there but those little grooves um since my steering wheel isn't straight to begin with um just, it's not because of my alignment um i'm basically going to put this on this way i'm going to make it straight once that's in i'm going to go ahead and bolt it down and then i'm going to re reinstall my steering wheel and reinstall the plastics i'm going to just make sure that the uh the steering wheel literally just lines up with the screw holes and it looks like it's good once it's lined up I'm going to get a little bit of the thread locker and put it back on the uh, the little bolt that I used for the uh, the actual steering wheel. Don't use too much because uh, if you ever, for whatever reason, have to take it off, you won't be able to. Literally one drop is, is enough. I didn't use a lot. It's just a tiny little drop. And then go ahead and hand thread it in first. Go ahead and get your Ooga Dooga machine. Set it to go forward and then just give it, tighten it and then give it like three Ooga Doogas. Ta-da, you're all good. All right, guys, so that basically wraps up this video. Um, there really isn't much to it. It was literally just like three bolts, and that's how you install a new steering wheel into your car. Yeah, so stick around. I'm gonna show what uh, what I swapped the 240 with, what motors in here now. I have more plans for the motors. Not, I'm not just gonna leave it stock. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any more BMW videos, just because I do plan on selling it. I do have it up for sale for 11,000. If you're interested, hit me up on Instagram, send me a DM, and I'll give you more info for it. I know people have been asking for a fitment video of that car. I'll probably, or I'll try to do it before I sell the car. I don't know if I will, but I'll try. Then aside from that, there really isn't much going on. I'm kind of uh, in a, at a crossroads. I don't know what exactly what I want to do, but I know for a fact I'm selling the BMW. I don't know what else I'm going to do aside from that. It's just uh, just life. Life's kind of uh, moving forward. I'm going to move forward with it. So I'm going to sell the BMW and we'll see where I go from there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the whole video. If you guys have any questions about the install or kind of have a question about um, Anything that deals with installs at all, just let me know. I'm always glad to help or give my input, but that's it for today. All right, so one last thing before I go. Um, I want to kind of thank everyone that's stuck around so far, and uh, I never knew I'd have like 35,000 views on my one performance exhaust video. Thank you guys for that. I really appreciate that. Thank you for everybody, uh, friends, family, uh, you know, randoms that uh, I've met through YouTube and Instagram. Thank you to everyone for uh, all the support you guys have been showing. It really does mean a lot. Kind of helps you out on those rough days, but that's it. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'll make more videos, I promise. I've been chilling on the hill trying to figure out what life's like Heard it's pretty cool with five seconds in the limelight But I would never know, said I would never know Cause this view's too good to pass up now